So I am thinking that we will try and get another page or two done in my virus journal. So I have paper clipped these bits in here. So we're looking at, must be the 27th of March. So I'll just take the paper clip off for now. Let's see what we've got. Got a rundown of the cases in South Australia, Australia and the world. So that's really cool. So I decide whether I keep that together. I could use this one as a flip up. Might be the best and then put our information that I've written now underneath. And then 27th, we start on another lot of these. Um, this one was put out on the 27th of March. So I think they're weekly things. So um, the information I've got out of this um, medical journal can go anywhere, I think. In the next week in here some of the pages are pretty full up so we'll have a quick look and see if there's something we want to fit on this page could do a flip up and a flip out and we could make a pocket or a tuck but i like being able to see the amount of cases because it's easy to look at so I think we'll definitely do that as a flip up. So I will grab my washi tape. So that'll flip up and down nicely for me. So I've got this that needs to go on. What is that? Cruise ship Artania docked 41 tested positive. Uh, something about a reduction in new infections, but an increase in deaths. So, yeah, I think. Those bits might fit quite nicely with this under there. Usually I do a stamp of an anchor <laughs> to <laughs> signify the cruise ship. <laughs> sort of like a visual cue as well. <laughs> Could almost fit it on there. It doesn't matter if it goes over some of the writing. So that's the 27 so far. It's got the date there because my mum always puts them on, but I like stamping them on each page just because I like using this thing. I figure I might as well use the stuff I pick up everywhere. Now, what's that? It's the 
26 it must be so I have to do it like that put it over here I think that'll do for that page for now so the 28th looks like we don't have too much here so let's see if we can fit some of these other bits and pieces in now this one can go anywhere because it's not sort of pertinent to the time frame so typhoid mary can go elsewhere let's see what we're going to do with this big page it's just this side that we want to put in it's got a few rips so I might have to tape them up as well so what I do is just cut it down a bit because it is very big and bulky so we'll cut the, like little margins off the side so what I like to do with the big pages I think something this big is I fold it up and put it in the envelope If there was something that I liked the look of on this page, I would have left the window open. See, I could have like put that picture in the window or something, but couldn't be bothered thinking about that at the moment. So I'm just gonna burnish them a bit. So that's gonna go in here. Fits just nicely. And then we've got to stick this to the page. It's going to get chunky, this one. Just about needs to be tied now. So, I did one of these before. I'm just trying to think. Um, did I use washi for it? I think I did. But a different washi. Yeah, that washi, that worked well. I've got that here, so maybe we'll use that one again. It seems to stick a bit better. plenty of space like I've almost given myself more space there now to write plus we've got our information in there so I might try and get this page done which is the 29th so that's gonna be a bit big so I might cut that down maybe and we've got to fit in these other big pages don't we so look at this one now it's already got a fold there but that's looking a bit wide so I can either do that or I can fold it like that and whack it in a tuck 
Alright, I think I'm going to make it like a page that flips out. I have lots of them in here. So I reckon I will fold it about there. opened up so what we will do is back it and then we can use this side as well So that'll flip open like that. Now, what I'm thinking is we can put another one of the bigger bits, maybe. And this one I could go straight on like that. It fits, doesn't it? Let's cut it down a bit. need to be backed if it's going to be a tuck. So that's all the information for those couple of pages in. Just see what this is about. Oh yeah, about the um, how we, how the government was urging the retired doctors and nurses and that to come back to work to help fight. It sort of needs to be folded as well. You might do that there. It's very messily cut. So I'll do a bit more messy cutting. It's a bit better. So that can be stuck there. And then flipped out. I actually think I'll stick it down with some glue and then put washi over the top. I 
don't necessarily, although it's still gonna be a bit of a flip then, isn't it? But I don't want it to flip the whole way, I don't think. So I'll just go along here. So I will go through this and add bits and pieces and bits of color and that here and there. I just want to get like the bulk of the information in and catch up to where we are and then worry about doing that sort of thing afterwards. Right, fold it over if I can. Let's have a look. If I need to, I can clip that on as well, but it should be alright like that. I'll just have to be careful when I go through and open everything up. But that will just, you know, I can still write or stick something there and then flip that bit out like that. as well slip it in there just put the date on it in case it comes out and that will still give us room to write if I find any more information for that day chunky considering we're only not not even halfway yet so definitely gonna need a tie on it soon so I've done all that so today's was that and that I have to fix this it's not sitting the way I want it to but that happens has worked out good though. So I've got those, that, and this bit, and that's a pocket. So I'll have to make something for to slip in there. So a couple more pages to do in March and stick all the other stuff in, and then I can start on April. So thanks for coming along. Hope you crafted away with me. Um, take care of yourselves, and I will see you again soon. Bye.